So the seven stroke rule. Uh, the seven stroke rule is basically another one of those rudiments that's just uh, a calculated double stroke roll. All it is is the first seven notes of a double stroke roll. So right, right, left, left, right, right, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or starting with the left hand, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I want you to understand that this is just a simple sticking pattern. You might already be using it without even knowing its name, or you might go your entire Grammy-winning career without ever playing a single seven-stroke roll. It's just another tool that you can use. It's always good to have more tools under your hands, but what's most important is that you have more music in your ears. No amount of rudiments will make you a musical drummer, and musical drummers have a lot more fun, so keep that in mind. Now the seven stroke roll can be used in so many different situations, but for this video I'm going to give you two examples. For the first example, I'd like to turn to one of the greatest drummers in the world, Mr. Keith Carlock. Keith plays a simple fill which is basically just a seven stroke roll on the snare drum with the final beat landing on the crash cymbal on the down beat. He starts it in his weak hand, or his left hand, and finishes it in his right hand. It sounds like this. Now it starts to get interesting when he incorporates it into a groove. On the backbeat, just before the seven stroke roll starts, instead of playing the backbeat in his left hand, he plays it in his right hand. This allows him to start the fill in his weaker left hand so he can ultimately finish it in his stronger right hand. Here's the full groove with the fill. You can also use this rudiment for hi-hat ornamentation during grooves. There are many ways to do this, but here is just one example. Work on the seven stroke roll in both hands when you practice. That means starting with the left and starting with the right. See if you can come up with creative ways to use this rudiment in fills and grooves on your own. Thank you for watching.